In the news off the coast of Biddeford, there is a million dollar research project happening to see if seaweed can help the entire country improve its energy security and economic competitiveness. It's part of a three year project and today was harvest day when researchers at UNE collect the kelp they've been growing all winter long. The great crisis on this planet and with 10 billion people is going to be food, energy, water, waste and shelter. Barry Costa Pierce and his team of researchers at the University of New England have high hopes for these long brown ribbons of seaweed. Look at these. Sugar kelp, as it's called, grows in salt water throughout the winter months, requires very little light and no fertilizer. Rich in minerals and vitamins, and we get like 15, 18, 20 pounds per foot of line. Researchers believe seaweed could someday be used as a major source of food, feedstock, even biofuel, all while not competing with precious land on farms. We always hear that Maine has this incredibly vast coastline, 3,500 3, miles of coastline. You'd think we can have seaweed farms all over the place in fairly protected areas. But actually, inshore Gulf of Maine is a really busy place, right? We have shipping lanes, we have recreational boaters, we have lobstermen. So there's only so many places where you can tuck a seaweed farm inside of an island and have a nice protected place to be. UNE researchers, with help from the Maine Marine Composites, an ocean engineering company, are trying to find a secure, sustainable way to farm kelp in a larger capacity in the open ocean. Our goal is to develop numerical models to predict how uh, things like kelp farms respond to storms so that we can design design them better and more economically. It's all part of a three-year program funded by the Department of Energy and its $1.3 million research grant. The seaweed revolution could be just as important as any agricultural revolution we've developed on this planet. And shout out to journalist John Blenda, photojournalist who John! accompanied me. He's standing right over here. He actually <laughs> took some fresh bites right on the boat today and really? he enjoyed it. And he's still alive and, and he's kicking. He's still here, yeah. Excellent. All right, <laughs> so well, very good. Thanks, John. Double high five.